All right, I'm going to go over how to create a show and then a schedule in Vixen 3. Uh, this is our main Vixen screen. You're going to pick Scheduler up here on the menu bar. And first we're going to add a show. Schedules run shows. So we have to first define the show and then we can define when the show happens. So we're going to, I've got my weekday show here. I'm going to add a new show by pressing the plus here. And if I click this, I can now rename this to Weekends. Then I can press the Edit button here or double click it. And it'll pull up this screen to set up a show. Now, you have um, four different types of events that can happen during a show. You've got the startup items, which happen once during the startup of the show. Uh, so maybe you want to welcome them to the show. Um, and then you have background items. These happen after startup and continually during the entire show. Um, and then you have your sequential items. Um, those are things that happen over and over and over. So they happen in order, you know, uh, item number one, number two, number three, number four, and then it begins with item number one again. It just keeps repeating until the show's over. And that's um, to find in the uh, schedule. Um, then you have your shutdown items. And shutdown items happen so when the show ends, sequential items stop, background items stop, and then shutdown happens. So you can thank people for coming to the show and shut it down for the night. So let's add some of these things. We're going to add, so to add an item here, you click plus. And over here you'll see different types of actions. The most common action is going to be sequence. And there's also a launch action which um, launches a, a program. So if you have a program that you want to run during your show, maybe it runs an external sign, uh, something like that, you can run it in the, in the uh, show here. There's also a pause, so if you want to sh sh throw a pause in, five seconds, ten seconds, and you know a half hour or whatever, you can add a pause to your sequence. And then sequence, of course. So we're going to pick sequence. Um, just pick the folder here. We can pick our sequence. I've created a bunch of test sequences. So we're going to have startup one. This is a startup type sequence. And you can see here it says run sequence startup one. I also have another sequence that's startup. I'm going to add it there. Pick it. Startup two. Then go into my background sequences. So I'll add another one here. Background. I've set one up. Uh, welcome sign. I'm going to run that in the background. That basically tells them the frequency to tune to uh, to watch the show. So that's going to happen continuously while my show is playing after startup, before shutdown. Sequential. These are everything I want to put in my show. So I'm going to pick sequential one, add another one, sequential two, add another one, sequential three, and then finally sequential four. Um, if you want to change the order, you can pick one and move it around. And then shut down would be right there. So I have to find my startup items, my background items, sequential items, and shutdown items. And that's it. That's how you set a show up. Press OK. Close there. Now we're going to set up a schedule for when the show needs to run. I'm going to pick Schedule again off the menu. Create Schedule. These are our scheduled items. Right now I have weekdays. You can see when it's going to run. And I've disabled it for now. So I'm going to add a new schedule. You pick a show to start. We're going to pick uh, Weekends, the one we just created. It's enabled by default. This is your start date an end date. So this is the date today. Defaults to both. We can set it to end, say, uh, 
Oh, let's see. We'll set it October 31st. The days we want it to run, this is a weekend schedule, so we'll set it to Saturday and Sunday only. And this is the time you want it to run. So we'll say 8 o'clock in the morning to 8 o'clock at night. It says it'll run for 12 hours. Press OK. And our schedule is enabled. Now the scheduler itself right now is not enabled. You can tell right here there'd be a checkbox next to that. So we have to enable the scheduler for anything to run. So I'm going to enable the scheduler. You'll see the status down here. And there we go. And now our schedule is running. While the schedule is running, this uh, status box here will tell you what's going on. You can, um, let's move it up here. Click this button, you'll see a log of what's happening, how it's running. It'll tell you what's running. And there's buttons here. This is the, uh, this enables the scheduler. This will stop immediately the current running schedule. This button right here uh, stops the show gracefully, which means if I click it, the show will process through and then it'll do the shutdown sequence. Um, as opposed to this one, it'll stop it right now with no shutdown sequence. And then this here, of course, shows the log. So I will stop my show gracefully and we will see the goodbye here. And now the show's done right here, show complete.